Hey guys, Mystery here, and today we are taking a look at some troubleshooting for broken mods. Now this hopefully will be a perennial video that I can uh, share every time we have a major update, uh, no matter how big or small for Darktide, mods break all the time. As the game changes, so must the mods, and mod authors are not perfect, nor are they omnipresent. They can't update as soon as the patch drops, because a lot of times these authors don't have previous access. They don't have access to the build that's actually going to go live, so they're scrambling to put something together as it releases. And that is what we have certainly seen with the Hive Scum update. It's certainly what we'll see with many updates moving forward. So whenever you're watching this video, hello from the distant past, perhaps. But this video should still be very relevant to you for all of Dark Tide's future history. Now, let's go ahead and start with some real, real basics. If you don't know how to install mods, uh, I don't know how you find your way here, but you might want to go and check out this video right here. This video will tutorialize you in how to install mods, get your basic framework set up, and show you the resources to go to in order to find good mods in less than 10 minutes. It's definitely worth a watch. I might be a little biased in that one. So this video will hopefully tutorialize you guys in how to avoid or solve a lot of the major issues that will crop up with every update for Dark Tide and get your mods working and get you back out there playing. However, if you want to brute force a solution and you got $5 to spare, you can always become a Mr. E channel member and then you'll get access to the Mr. E machine discord where I have my custom mod setup helpfully linked right here. This will always be current and match whatever I'm using in the game. So whenever the mods are available to play with, I will get the things working and post them on here for you to download at any given time. And there is also a whole channel devoted to people, uh, you know, complaining about certain mods being broken. And since everybody shares the same selection of mods, that at least the ones that are using in my files, it becomes much, much easier to get solutions to exactly what problems you might have. So that is always an option for you. Shameless plug there. Okay, plugging over. Let's start with the really, really easy stuff, the real simple solutions to get you back on track and get your mods working again, which is if you have an update, even a small update like a hotfix like this one here, we always need to go to your manage files, browse local files, and run the toggle dark tide mods batch file here. Now for me, it's already patched. Ask me if I'd like to remove it. But for you, if it pops up here, dark tide is now patched to load mods. Congratulations, dark tide is now patched to load mods. Every update, no matter how big or small, they could literally uh, change one iota. If you ever see this thing downloading up here and updating the game, then you're gonna need to do that because it kicks all the mods offline and you have to manually turn them back on. So just be really, really aware of that you will know that that is potentially the case if you get into game and there is no mod settings menu at all like the mods didn't even attempt to run and oftentimes for me i realize i've done this because i have mods that disable the loading screens and if i start to go into game and i see the intro animation i know that i've messed up and i need to back out and run that batch file there is another issue though that might occur to you if you are running dark tide and you get into game and you notice that all of your mods aren't loaded. Now in this situation, if you get into game and you have a mod settings menu, but then there's nothing populated in there, there is a very likely cause here and it is to do with your mod load order. Now let's go ahead and go back to that file here, our mods folder. Uh, so here in your mods folder, there should be a mod load order. For me, however, I do not have this in my set. So if you're watching this and you are a member of my channel and you use my mod setup, well, I don't actually have a mod load order text file in here. I use auto mod loader. And one of two things can happen here. Perhaps if you are not an auto mod loader user, your mod load order file has been deleted, in which case just create it again. Or if you are an auto mod loader user and this patch has broken dark tide mod framework and dark tide mod loader, then you will need to repatch those with auto mod loader. Every time that dark tide mod framework and dark tide mod loader update, then you need to go in. If you reinstall those, you'll need to reload that. So I see a lot of people that correctly ascertain that, oh, well, the game is crashing on launch, which we'll talk about in a second if you are crashing. Uh, well, I need to update Dark Tide Mod Loader. And once they do, now they find none of their mods loading. That is because every time you replace that file with a new file, you must then patch it again with Auto Mod Loader in order to get that to work. Now, 
let's talk about what happens if we press play. If we can actually get past this screen here and we can press play and we can launch the game and we know that we are getting a modded experience, but we're then immediately being crashed to the desktop. So like, for instance, if I was loading it and playing from right here, right about now, as the screen goes black, then it would just crash. It would throw you back to desktop and you'd be like, well, what the hell just happened? Uh, then the situation is going to be pretty simple. I would say if you're crashing before you even get into the game itself, you have one of two culprits. And that means we need to take a little trip over to Nexus Mods. Nexus Mods being the repository for all Darktide mods, most of them anyway. And then we can go to the browse. And then let's just go ahead and go over here and sort by endorsements. These top two mods right here, Darktide Mod Framework and Darktide Mod Loader, are the absolute backbone of the entire Darktide mod experience. So if these two are outdated or broken in some way, which oftentimes does happen are those majorly quarterly patches. So if, if a new class launches or new maps or whatever it is, those really, really big updates, these do have a history of being outdated at the turn of those new uh, those new big quarterly updates. So go here and check them. If, if you are logged in, which you should be, you have to be logged in to download. There should be a little thing up here at the top that says update available. But if you are concerned that this might be the issue, you can simply come in here and go to the posts and then scroll down and look and see if there is an issue uh, that that maybe other people are posting about. So, yeah, look, people are saying that it's broken. It's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is this was an issue that people were having a couple days ago. It is now fixed. It is now up to date. But if you're seeing errors with these sort of things um, and it's not been updated yet, then you can just rest assured that, OK, yeah, that this is it's just this here. This would be the first thing to look at, because if your game is crashing before you even get into it, it has to be one of these mods that are running before you even initialize anything else. Now, this is where I'll segue to another great resource for you. Obviously, Nexus Mods is a great place to find mods, and it's a it's a place where many mod authors upload their updated versions. However, there are a lot of mod uh, authors that do not update their mods uh, very often, if at all anymore, such as Scoreboard here. Uh, Scoreboard hasn't been updated since March. So this is, uh, this is an abandoned uh, mod, I think. I think maybe uh, the mod author has gone on to do better things than play Darktide and make mods for it, um, 07. But if you've noticed, I actually have this mod working in my game as of you know just a couple days after the patch. How do I have this mod working when it is clearly out of date on Nexus mods? Well, that's because there's another place to find fixes for these mods, and that is on Discord. The Darktide Modders Discord, which you can find by simply just going Googling Darktide Modders Discord, is a great resource for these sort of er errors and issues. Now, when you go here, the place that you'll probably want to go is down here to the Mods Bugs channel. And then before you post anything, before you like uh, control C, control V, your entire life story and how everything is broken for you and, you know, you're so special, um, check the pinned comments, please. Please don't be that person. Check the pinned comments and see if your entire issue is addressed here. Because in the case of this update, most errors are addressed by these things right here. So first of all, as they already addressed, be sure to update Darktide Mod Loader and Darktide Mod Framework. Bada bing, bada boom. If you update those, many people's mods from that point on just work. Now, to go further, they do still have more posts about mods that are very popular that are broken. So if you're a user of Extended Weapon Customization, Scoreboard, Crosshair HUD, all those are broken. However, they say there is a temp fix available. So many of you have noticed, uh, I see it in the comments, many of you notice I have Scoreboard and I have Crosshair HUD, and these are crashing and breaking for other players because they're still waiting on updates on the Nexus mods. I got a patch from the, the mod Discord here. So I have Crosshair HUD, I need a temp fix, I go to here, I click to that, and there you go. There is the download for the Crosshair HUD that I use in my custom mod setup so that I can still play with this even uh, just a few, like a week or so after the patch. And I don't know if Crosshair HUD will ever be updated by it. It's, it's author, it's been six months or so. So you might have just this patch to rely on. So yeah, really, really great resource. Uh, the people here are very knowledgeable. There's a ton of people who are, I mean, look, there's 156 models on here. There's all sorts of people chiming in to be very, very helpful. 
they want to help you, just be, you know, be reasonable about it, right? Like, yeah, give them the information they're asking for and check the pins first to make sure you're not coming with a, with a question that one quadrillion other people have asked, because I'm certain that gets very, very annoying for them. Now, uh, now that you are in game and uh, there are mods, right? You should be able to run the game once you've gotten all these major, major things fixed. But let's say you have maybe some minor mods that people don't really use. Uh, one of those mods that, uh, that was less popular that I currently run in my set that was having some errors in this patch was uptime here. Uptime is throwing a bunch of errors. It would allow you to play the game, but when you'd press space at this screen here, it would just throw a million errors on this right side of the screen with those red boxes. So if you're seeing something like that, like this, this is something to do with my mods as well, <laughs> but it's fine, trust me. Um, if you're seeing something like that a, a billion times down here, you have a mods issue. Sometimes it will actually tell you what mod it is, and other times you'll have to, uh, you know, kind of intuit and and like play games to figure it out. So what do you do if you have mods that are still broken and you've gone ahead and you've checked on the Nexus mods, you've checked on the Discord and nobody is addressing the fact that this mod is broken? Well, you can do what I do at the start of every patch. All I do is I go ahead and get to my desktop and I just go, okay, what mods do I really, really, really need? And which mods can I live without while everything is kind of like in disarray? So personally, I love my custom UI, but there's like six mods that are involved in that. And a lot of times those mods break on updates. So I will go ahead and I will select everything to do with my custom UI. And then I will drag and drop it into a folder on my desktop and just store it off to the side. And I'll keep it there on the off chance that there is a small patch that I can apply to it and reintroduce it. Um, if there's another uh, release for it on Nexus Mods, I can just go ahead and drag and drop the whole uh, new file in there and I won't have to worry about what I put. Let's see if anything survived in here. So like, look at these. These mods here, um, this one, Character Cosmetics, was causing a bunch of crashes. So I put this to the side. I might reintroduce it at some point, but I haven't missed it yet. So yeah, it's just not part of my mod setup right now. And this is another great way to troubleshoot and figure out which mods are causing which errors are causing you to crash. One of these here was causing me to crash. And so what I did is I went five at a time, removing mods and putting them off to the side, running the game, crashing, removing mods, putting off the side. And if you have lesser used mods, if you have mods that are, uh, you know, just not that popular in general, a lot of times people won't find these bugs and you know, you might have to kind of troubleshoot that for yourself. So feel free and definitely use this system of just like excluding mods and just putting them off to the side in order to, uh, in order to re reduce your mod load list. Oftentimes after major updates, I run a list of about like maybe eight to 10 mods instead of my normal 40, just to keep things simple while everything in the world gets patched up. And the really easy way to do that, if you run auto mod loader, like I do, uh, all you have to do if you don't want to create a separate folder and drag it over there is go in here and rename it and put an underscore in front of it that will tell auto mod loader to not load that mod. And it's a really quick and easy way to, uh, you know, keep track of which things are loaded and unloaded. Now, with all that said, uh, let's, let's assume that you have gotten the mods working and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Um, but you're worried about removing certain mods. Like I just said, you're worried about like, what if I delete this? What if I delete this mod and move it to the side? And then I want it back once it's fixed. Well, don't worry about losing your settings, right? Your settings are not saved in the same place as all these mods are. So for instance, I have a ton of settings associated with better buff management. This is part of what allows my custom UI to work. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time getting all these buffs if situated just right and having the right one selected. And if I deleted those settings, I'd be majorly pissed. So I don't need to like preciously guard this and be like, okay, better buff management. Let's put it you over here and, and you stay safe in this corner. Okay. Like no, nobody better touch that. Um, I don't need to be worried about that because all the settings for better buff management and all the mods are located in your app data folder, your percent app data percent roaming fat shark folder. That is where your mod settings are located. So deleting these folders, is not going to affect any of that. You don't have to worry about it. You could literally uninstall numeric UI for a year and then delete it from here and then come back 
one year from now, reinstall the new patch and all of your settings will be transferred over. So yeah, don't worry about any of that stuff. Uh, you are all good to go to just play fast and loose with this mod folder, delete stuff as you wish, uh, you know, cut it and paste it somewhere else, uh, underscore app, uh, append it with an underscore so that you uh, don't load it, whatever it is. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that helps. I hope that you got everything fixed up and working and you can implement this knowledge going forward. If you still have questions or you've got errors or you're struggling with something, don't be shy. Go definitely hit up that Dark Tide Modders Discord and they will be able to help you out. I promise you that they are super, super, super knowledgeable people over there and they're very kind and uh, and fine people as well second only to all the people on my discord of course so <laughs> thanks guys for watching i'll see you next time mystery out bye bye